and it was back to school Monday for students across the Turks and Caicos. But the much talked about portable classrooms for high schools and the kindergarten section of government primary schools is still up in the air. News 4 was reliably informed that the furniture for these classrooms will not arrive until sometime next week, and that information was confirmed by Education Director Edgar Howell. We expect that the furniture for the classrooms, the additional classrooms, for the three primary schools on Providencia Alice, Clement Hall High School, and for H.J. Robinson High School will arrive in the country next week, Monday the 11th of January. Now the situation with the government schools is in the preschool department on Providenciales. It was last August. The Department of Education decided to keep preschoolers out of school until January 4, 2010, when the containerized classes were promised to be ready. But with no furniture, the classes are still not ready, and preschoolers were forced to sit on the floor. In the class filter capacity, some stood while others had to find room behind a teacher's desk. News 4 was informed that the Enid Capron Primary School didn't have access to the containerized classrooms, so the students are placed in this vacant classroom. But when confronted with that information, Director of Education Edward Howell said the situation at the Enid Capron Primary School will soon be solved. At the Enid Capron Primary School, because of some of the uh, adjustments that they wanted to make there, the students will be in, I think they're reporting tomorrow for, for full school. At the Ian Pratt Primary School, the teachers have set up the classrooms and they've had access to, to those additional classrooms. They got that through the day. EMS was able to go down and open the rooms and, and allow them to access those rooms. Um, I'm sure that the principal of the Enid Capron Primary would be happy to invite you back once her rooms are set up and the students are utilizing them. And that would be the case for the Ozita Jolly Primary as well. Meantime, administration officials at the Enid Capron Primary School refuted rumors of a riot and rock-throwing incident at the school Tuesday morning. The preschoolers are scheduled to return to school on Wednesday. News 4 will have more on the story as it develops. For WIV4 News, I'm Takara Bain.